Hey guys, Steve Chase here. Welcome to another video. Uh, this video I'm going to share with you how to record payment methods inside QuickBooks Online and then understand how to run reports that can show how your customers are paying you. So for example, you might have wire payments, you might have credit card payments, PayPal payments, uh, checks, cash, and you might need to run a report that can reconcile the deposit details. So let me share with you how you can do that using QuickBooks Online. The first thing you have to do with your QuickBooks account is you have to set up your list of payment methods. So this will be the standard cash and check, and then we'll be able to learn how to add more things like wire payments or perhaps PayPal. Once we get our list set up, we can run a few reports here. I'm going to share with you in a demo how to run three reports. There, there's plenty more, but the, these three will be a really good starting point for reconciling your payment methods. So one is called the deposit detail report. Another one is the sales by customer details. It's really good for sales receipts. And another one is the transaction list by date. Uh, so very important here is to, to understand the difference between what an invoice is and a sales receipt is. So the invoice uh, is different than a sales receipt. A sales receipt is going to have one full payment for the amount that's on the sales receipt, full payment recorded to the date of the sales receipt. So it is basically uh, full payment. There, there's never accounts receivable on sales receipts, where an invoice does create accounts receivable the moment it's been saved. And an invoice can have zero or more payments on it. And so sometimes it's confusing when you run a report and you want to see the payment method on an invoice. It doesn't work like that because you have to uh, run the payment method on the payments because it could be that t there are three payments on one invoice to, to different phases and so forth. So I'll share with you a demo on how to understand how to run a report and really see um, the payment methods on those on those invoices here. So I'm going to jump into my demo here. All right, and this is just a fake account here that I've got going here. <clears throat> so step one, uh, you're going to click on the, the gear icon and then select list under all list. And that's going to take us uh, to a, a place to see all of your list, including this payment methods option here. So when you click on that, you'll see all of your payment methods here. Imagine I wanted to add a new one. I can click new and I can type uh, wire, for, for example, and then hit save. All right. So now let's talk about how to run uh, reports. So the first step would be to click reports and we can go over to the search box and type deposit detail. All right, and the deposit detail report um, is going to share with us the current this month to date. But let me go back to maybe um, last year. All right, it's starting to show uh, what's been cleared here. And we need to go over to the right and click on customize and select change columns for the ability to add payment method okay and then on top of that if we wanted to filter we would have the ability uh, to come into the opportunity here and select what it is that you'd like to see like cash or check something something like that mastercard wire or all of them okay so then just run report there we go. And apparently we've got, um, these are the, the last year check payments that came through here. And it shows us that just one of those was reconciled. These other ones here are not reconciled here. So that's a great report here that is called the deposit detail. Okay, let's take a look at another report. Sales by customers is another one. So anytime you run a report with the word sales on it, it's only going to 
include an invoice or a sales receipt. Okay. So, um, or a refund. Okay. So sales by customer. Let's go with sales by customer detail. All right. So here we have several sales receipts and one invoice. You can see that the invoice was 75,000. We've got the uh, amount 30,000 is left on the balance. Okay. So we invoice 30,000 of 75. So that's what's left here. So that means that uh, when we run the payment method, we'll only see it on the sales receipts, not the invoices. So by clicking on customize, change columns, payment method, run report. All right, you can see e-checks here. And as expected, uh, we wouldn't see that. Even if I pay that invoice right now by clicking receive payment, I'll do a wire transfer. Um, and I'll just put some reference here. Okay, and let's make the date. Let's make the date the 10th. Wire on the 10th. Save and close. You still don't see wire payment here because going back to there are several payments on that invoice, or there can be several payments on that, and you'd see that is a completely different form. That is called the receive payment form. Okay, so um, how do we how do we get a chance to to see that? <clears throat> well, realize that this might not be the report for you. Um, so instead, we can run another report, the deposit detail report, um, and that's going to show up which is the re first report that I shared with you here. And we could click customize, change columns, come down here, payment method, run report. Now we see the wire here, right? And we can see it hasn't yet reconciled yet. The third report I want to share with you is the transaction list by date. So this is a good one too, transaction list by date. This gives you a lot more flexibility and we can add the payment method. So this will be both ways, money in and money out. Notice we've got some expenses. And so, so therefore, um, we could actually, if we wanted to, we could filter that only show if you have a lot of these you could filter the transaction type because it would be for example you might just want to see payments only or sales receipts or and I should say and sales receipts maybe some refunds and we run report here we can take it back a, a few months or so and at this point here, you would you would get a chance to see all of these right here, okay? And so this payment right here, we don't have a payment method on here. Let's see why. Open it up. Okay. Forgot to include the payment method here. So it was deposited. We'll say that was a check. We forgot to write check 101. Now that we've saved it. We've got that updated here. And by the way, if you ever wanted to see a history of this, you can go to the More button at the bottom and do Audit History. It will show you when it was created, August 19th, and when it was last modified. So that will be um, another important detail as well. Um, you can see this yellow highlight here says Payment Method Check right here. So if it has gone through several iterations, the audit uh, log will show you a history of an individual transaction for that as well. So, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and um, stay tuned for the next one and hope you have a great rest of your day.